Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Geneforge. So, as you can see, we're back in Inutel Village because I actually missed someone here. Whoops. Hey, Crodar. Didn't mean to overlook you. I don't know what happened there. There's an actual Thad walking around Refuge. Yeah, I mean, he, he does kind of stick out, doesn't he? It's, uh, it's a bit of a mystery how I missed him. Um, when you come close, he walks up to you. He walks up and stares at you. He's fascinated. Shaper, I, Crodar, I meet you. I'm assuming that's how they talk. Maybe not. I don't know. I guess they're really not. They're more like pretty buff cat people from their, yeah, from their little or bigger picture there. So I don't know. <laughs> um, who are you? I am Th am Thad. I guard refuge. They feed Crodar. I'm misfit like them. Huh. <laughs> there it is. Um, Thad made by Shaper. You a Shaper? I am a Shaper. Kind of. Depending on the definition. Crodar. I mean, I suppose at this point I really am a shaper because I'm also shaping things. So, yeah, there's that. Um, Crodar not understand. Not know how to feel. Know you control thoughts, but never know shaper. Not know what to do. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, well, that's... Um, I'm sorry. Apparently I can't say anything more to that. Um, you are a thought. Stating the obvious here. I'm Thod. Was guard of Kask. Now guard here. Thod guard. Thod punch. Is what we do. Makes us useful. Um, I'm sure. Maybe not as useful as, you know, some of those, some of my ranged units, but still, still useful. Sure. Uh, what are you doing here? He already told us, but whatever. Was guard of Kask. But not good guard. Was cast out. Welcomed in refuge. Uh, who created you, actually? That's a good question. Created? I was born. Thought can make babies. Wait, he. but he said... I mean, the first thing he said was that he was created by Shaper. So I thought he was... He, he specifically meant that he actually knows that he was created by a Shaper directly. And not just his species or, you know, his ancestors. But apparently... Um, well, now we have more confirmation that uh, creations can actually have babies. I mean, good for them, I guess. Normally, thoughts like other battle creations are shaped to be sterile. A large fertile population of them must have been left on Susha Island. An unusual choice. I mean, we don't know if there was a large fertile population. There might have been just a, f a couple that happened to be, you know, not sterile. Anyway, um, why were you cast out? Not angry enough. Too many words. Did not fight fast enough. Too much thinking. That say a thought who fights... That say? They say a thought who fights less is Inuta, so refuge is my place. The servants welcomed you? Refuge likes Crodar. Talks to me. I talk very good for a thought. With talk can think. A strange life for a thought. I still fight... But when I not fight, I can... Crodar trails off. Crodar is unique among his kind. Many shapers would declare him hopelessly rogue for his behavior. Well, I don't. I don't judge. Why don't you come with me? Uh, interesting. I mean, he's guarding this place. I wonder if this is actually an option. Oh, I mean, it might be an option to just... Just like we took uh, Cyrilla with us for the, the attack on Watchill. Just uh, to have him support us attacking the bandits. Which is kind of his job, I suppose. I mean, not attacking them, but defending against them, at least. Um, I mean, I'm going to ask it just because I'm curious. Uh, why don't you come with me? Crodar shakes his head. It is a dream to fight. Fight for Shaper. But Crodar is figuring out a lot of stuff right now. Crodar needs some space. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess I would have taken him with me as a permanent party member, but I guess at this point it's pretty clear that that's just not a thing. Well, I don't know. I'm, maybe I shouldn't say that. I guess it's possible. Um, I'm not really any stronger than I was last time I was here, so attacking those bandits again doesn't seem very promising. I mean, I could keep trying that. I, I did eventually beat these guys here, so, you know, with having, with having uh, days stick to enough of them, it might be possible. But I could also just return 
after gaining another level or so. I will... Uh, I mean, will I? It seemed maybe like a better idea to attack from here to, to get those claw one at a time. From this direction, I think I'm going to walk right into the the nest of them, huh? Which is around here. Well, maybe we can get a single one. Although, it's probably going to alert the others, so... If I want to, maybe, be able to deal with them. I should probably attempt it from, from over here. Was it here? Yes. I'm going to give it one more try. I mean, I really only saw them once, or, well, technically twice, and just gave up on it immediately. Of course, the same is true as with the bandits. Oh, also, the other thing that I completely forgot to mention is that I went back to... Uh, to that abandoned laboratory or shaping hall, I guess it was called, in Crag Hills, to grab the shaper equipment, which does mention that it might be useful for someone. Um, same as with the shaper records. So, yeah, I mean, it is bulky stuff, but uh, for now I have some room left, and obviously that's going to be useful for someone. Um, as for the crystals, I'm still not entirely sure. Um, apparently, uh, even in the remake, some sort of crystal is useful later in the game to, well, for some sort of crafting. It's probably not essential either way, but um, what I've been found, um, what what little mention I found uh, mentioned rough crystals specifically, and these are just called crystals. So I don't know. This is the um, the the cheapest kind of sellable crystals. So maybe that's what they meant, or maybe there really are rough crystals that I just haven't found yet. Um, I mean, I don't know. I guess I'll hold on to these until I find either find rough crystals or you know someone tells me explicitly and definitively that these are not the ones. But I mean for now it doesn't matter. I don't need the money desperately or the space, so just figured I'd mention it. Um, and well, let's see if we can get another one of these clawbox by itself. They are pretty tough, but I mean, they they deal a lot of damage, but individually they can be defeated. There's one, and okay, well, I guess I got lucky. It did use a an area attack, but only hit a single one of us. Who is now poisoned, of course, but um, I mean, I could heal him. It's probably better if I myself stay out of the line of fire for now. Did I check the stats last time? Uh, level 6, okay, I'm, I mean, they are pretty high level. I guess I might have checked. Almost 100 health, yeah. Not much in terms of resistances, I guess. That's good for me. We'll cure you. I am not going to heal you quite yet, but I also really can't do much else here. Um, I mean, that's not true. I'm going to go with War Blessing and, you know, hope that we can kill this guy quickly. Thankfully, no one else or no other Clawbox are within range here. And he did the area thing again. Ah, Frosty. Oh, Frosty. Um... Three people to unpoison. Or I could just deal damage, or not. Try to deal damage at least. Oh, and they have spines, I forgot. And you're also terrified, and you attack for 41 damage and kill them. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah. I think this is a, about how that first encounter went. Blessed, huh? Wait, did he bless himself? Or it? It status blessed and hasted. Oh, blessed and hasted. Wonderful. Um, well... I don't know. I'm gonna try a couple more times and at least I'm, I'll be able to take a look at the store, which is probably locked. I mean, almost definitely locked. The question is whether we'll be able to open it. I guess I'm going to go with protection. 
And then War Blessing next turn if, if I don't need to desperately heal, which I probably will. Let's be honest. Yeah. I mean, he didn't miss Frosty this time. Which means he's not running away like a headless chicken. Ah, I'd probably better heal, huh? Myself, for example. I mean, cure for now. And I guess I'll hope that... Okay, no spines this time. We might actually kill it, though. Yeah, okay, we did kill it. 22 experience, not bad. I'm gonna cure Mondame, the second. Okay. Well, I don't know if more of them are gonna wander this way. Oh, wow. The lever is locked in this position. You don't have the key, uh, and you don't have enough living tools to move it, which would be 16. Okay. Yep. Uh, so, I mean, they might be guarding the key here, or maybe I get the key for dealing with the bandits. And this room is going to have my reward or something. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, for now, obviously there is no way... Oh, oh no. I was not really expecting more than one of them to start wandering this way, but here we are. Hmm. Well... I have to save you now. Running a bit low on essence. Oh, okay. It did not kill him. Maybe the the forty one hit was uh, was a crit last time. Ah, uh, why do I keep missing my own attacks? Do, am I still? Okay, good. Am I still using armor that um, reduces hit chance or something? I mean, we did kill two of them, so we made this future encounter a bit easier if I decide to return later. I mean, I can deal with them individually if I don't get unlucky. It does cost me, though. Right now, I'm, I mean, I could heal one more time. Or cure twice, I suppose. Which might just barely be enough to survive another encounter. Depending on how many people get poisoned. I um, guess I'm going to save here. Okay. Oh, wow, they're patrolling. And these might be... Yeah, okay. It, it seems like these are connected. I don't know if, if enemies are just programmed to be linked together. To always alert other members of their party, basically. Or if it's just a proximity thing. Um, maybe either can be true. But, uh, yeah. This is not going to happen. So let's just save that for later. I did take a note about it anyway, so there's that. Oh, she has a lot of crystals, right? So if there are rough crystals... She might have some airshot crystals. I did look at those before, so... Yeah, no, these are just called crystals. I don't know. I'm I'm assuming that those are the ones. Unless the rough crystals really are um, relatively rare. I don't know. Ultimately, it doesn't really matter all that much. Okay, so we did not get healed for entering... for, for going back up. I guess, like... Internally, the game handles multiple layers, still as the same area, even though it's not technically the same map. I'm going to quickly go here to get healed. Yep. And I guess with that, we are going to... I think I was starting to explore the, hill of, the Hills of Jars, because we are getting really close to that level up. And um, yeah, so we'll explore this place. Hopefully that'll level me up, and then I'm going to try my hand at the, uh, what's the area called? Spiral Burrow. Yeah. I think that's what I want to do. After long hours winding your way through narrow barren valleys, you find an empty encampment. Oh, really? I mean, I literally just entered from here, though. So. <clears throat> anyway, uh, the feet of many servals have worn a path. 
They used to carry goods along this road. Nobody has been through for months, though. Interesting. The path ahead leads to heavy stone doors. The entrance of an underground complex is visible in the distance. Servos used to pass through it. Then they stopped. You wonder why. Huh. Oh, okay. Some thorns, aka free money. And nothing. And a living tool. Very nice. <laughs> Actually, getting closer to that, to those 16 living tools, I need to open that door. But, oops. Okay. Obviously, I'm not going to do that. Seems pretty, pretty obvious that there's going to be a key to be found for that. Wait. Uh, where in the distance exactly do I see? Oh, wait. Was the message supposed to be about this camp? Oh, I thought I was approaching a camp in this direction, but there actually isn't a camp. Yeah, that makes more sense. I guess I just happened to get close to it while trying to walk over here. Okay, well, that makes a bit more sense. So the idea is that, you know, even on the way to this place, obviously there is more area around it. We just have to imagine most of it. Ah, yes, okay, well, here it is. We've been to the West X. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that the game gave that kind of message too. Interesting. Ah, well, that's nice. Um, not so nice that we have these these mines here. Uh, I mean, I've been infused with uh, some sort of spores near the Anuta village, but these are probably going to be. Uh, different or, or gonna require a different kind of spore. This was once a massive shaper supply depot. Not much of value remains. Grubby scavenging servos have been through here many times. However, your interest is most captured by the things on the ground. With a sinking heart, you recognize the puffy mushroom-like creations on the floor ahead. Okay, that's our official introduction to these to these things. Um, these creations are called mines. And they are very simple. When shapers get close to them, they detect your essence. Then they explode. The specimens near your feet are small. They would likely do little damage. The mines farther in, though, are large and healthy. If you get near one, the burst would likely be fatal. Shaper mines are unable to have limited lifespan, unstable, <laughs> and have limited lifespans. These mines must have been created very recently, but by who? Some regions of Geneforge can only be passed by using high mechanics or leadership skill. You may not be able to get through here right now. Thanks, game. I might, though. If there is an insulation device right here. For example. And we get an explanation, maybe? Yes. Mines. Which also gives us experience. Shapers often use... Uh, often control access to forbidden areas by creating mines. These puffballs are full of volatile substances. When triggered by their programmed target coming close, they explode. Of course, shapers have to have to have ways to remove their own traps. Mines are deactivated by exposure to special spores. These spores can be delivered in a variety of ways. Some mines are deactivated by spore boxes hidden nearby, like this one, I think. Uh, some mines are detonated by crystal globes next to them. But a skilled mechanic can disarm those devices by approaching them quickly. Ah. Oh, wait. No, that's just a, a little random spark that happens to be on top of a purple thing. I wonder if there is a one of those globes nearby. Um, crystal globes. Well, I mean, there is a, a lever or, I guess, um, what was it called? Spore box, in this case. Uh, Skill mechanic can disarm those devices by approaching them quickly. Shapers have constructed easily portable wands that emit spores. These can disarm special mines created to be vulnerable to them. Okay. Uh, finally, rarely, you will find mines whose deactivation mechanism has been destroyed. These mines will remain until they explode or die of old age. Well, I don't think that uh, latter option is really an option here. Anyway, let's check this in here. Some coins. And this device is what is known as a spore switch. Oh, that's a different thing again. When the handle at the top is twisted in just the right way, it releases spores into the air. When twisted back, it releases a different sort of spore. Hmm. Using one of these devices can have unpredictable results. The spores are generally shaped to have some sort of effect on nearby shaper creations. Shapers use these device devices to control mechanisms for their simpler S, to S control mechanisms for their simpler, dumber creations like, say, mines or turrets. 
to flip the switch, use this object again. Okay. Hmm. Interesting that it said that flipping the switch in the other direction releases a different kind of spores. Maybe that's just to say that, you know, to explain why flipping it again makes you vulnerable to the mines again. Just out of curiosity, I have now presumably yep, made myself vulnerable again. And I didn't reload fast enough. <laughs> there we go. Not that it matters much. But in theory, or hopefully, that should do the trick. It seems to be the case. Okay. Interesting. This is a different kind of mine, though. Okay, experiment. They do not explode. Okay. Oh, maybe it's just... Yeah, I, I guess, I mean, obviously they all react to the same kind of spores. Maybe the purple ones deal more damage, even more than the other ones, just to, just to make sure that even if you somehow survive the first sequence of blasts, these will kill you. Uh, dagger, so that. Sorry, buddy. One of the tools. I mean, since this was obviously our first intended um, encounter with these, with this mechanic, with these things here. I'm assuming that um, if there was a mechanics requirement to operate that switch, it must have been pretty low. And, you know, obviously I've already made it past the one that, that was guarding Inuto Village. So, not a problem for me. One living tool? Sure. That seems reasonable enough. You know, so long as it's, it's something requires something in the one or two, maybe three living tool, um, you know, range. Um, I'm usually going to use it, unless it seems obvious that there is going to be a different way around it. Uh, you reach one of the main warehouses. The shapers were, unfortunately, very thorough gathering goods before their departure. Most of the best supplies have been taken. You doubt that the servals have been back here, uh, back here yet, though. If they had, everything of value would have been scavenged. There aren't supplies, but there are guards. Someone has grown fresh turrets in this room recently. Again, weird, but I mean, the, the mines were also placed recently, so. Um, you have seen many turrets in your lifetime. Shapers place them all over the place so that they can guard things they want guarded. Makes sense. Since you have spent so much time around them without ever feeling the least bit threatened, you are surprised beyond belief when the turrets turn their thorny stalks toward you. Yep. That's, um, uh, hmm. Let's see how tough they appear to be. Level 2, 36 health. Okay. Uh, wait. Resistances, presumably to oh, to mental. That makes sense. I guess it's going to be the case for all stationary and just not non-sentient things. Uh, poison immunity, basically. I wonder if that means that um, Artie's spitting attack, the main attack, is also going to deal no damage. Probably. I think that probably includes both damage and uh, both direct damage and the actual poison effect. Oh, that was not good damage. Can I shoot you from here? Yes. Yes, I can. I mean, they do not have a lot of health, so there is that. Hmm. Well, Mondi, you're gonna... get attacked a little bit. No! Just There's just no walking through friendly units or switching spots with them. That's the most... That's honestly one of the most surprising things to me, that that is no longer possible. That it's no longer possible to manually switch places with a friendly target. Okay, that's 8 damage, 12 damage. I mean, they're immune to poison, but it doesn't seem like they are poisoning. Also, there are a lot of... Oh, I spoke too soon. Venom turret is level 5, 71 health. Same resistances. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, this place is pretty heavily guarded. I wonder, I mean, these are unfortunately very, very closely clustered together, so I'm not really sure if I, I'll be able to get them to only attack one at a time, or, you know, for only one of them to be able to attack us at a time. Seems unlikely. In fact, I don't even know if they might have longer attack ranges than we do. Would kind of make sense for turrets, even though it's, it seems a bit mean.
Wait, that's not the right spell. There we go. Uh, that's unfortunate. I mean, I really don't want to want you to walk all the way in there because they're just gonna all take you apart. That's that doesn't seem very useful. Okay. I mean, individually, so long as they're as only one, maybe two of them attack us at a time. At least these normal ones. It seems like we're going to be fine. Yeah, unfortunately you'll have to pass. And you... Oh, no, never mind. I was wrong, thankfully. That... That does help, but... Um, still not in great shape. I do have some healing spores. I mean, at this point... Three of us are hurt. Of course, these are relatively rare. Well, first of all, I'm gonna go get out of combat. Like so. Oh, wait. That just opens that door. Uh, which means... Hmm. Or it could mean that there is a way around. Oh, also those things drop points. I guess that makes sense. They're basically just stationary, um, stationary thorn batons with a rudimentary intelligence. I guess uh, I could use a, I could use healing spores. I could heal three times using about half my essence. Another living tool. Oh, oh. Oh, do these make us immune to the turrets? I mean, I can only assume so because there are no mines around. Aha. Uh -huh. Indeed, that appears to be the case. Yes, they are now friendly. It's just a big thorn spitting fungus that can't communicate at all or think. Hmm. Okay, that's interesting. There's the tool bag that we just used. And another one, for good measure. Two living tools. Uh, and these doors? They're gonna open. There's another... another lever. Hmm. What would that be for? Or is this just another way to approach this from... Wait, is it... No? No, that lever is in the default position. They're not linked. Hmm. And I, uh, yeah, okay. Oh, hey, are you, have you also been repeatedly stabbed? Or can we actually talk to you? This is the hall of records for the supply depot, where goods, where, where goods are checked in and requisitioned. These menial jobs were handled by the servant mind. Not surprisingly, this depot servant mind was left behind. You see to the north, it's still alive. Okay, that's good. There's also lots to read, it looks like. Let's talk to him first. Seems rude to just ignore him. Achievement, Traps 101, for making it through here, I guess. I mean, yeah, Traps 101 is basically what this was, so <laughs> makes sense. You approach the servant mind, it is still alive and functioning. In fact, it is so alert that it might have been fed recently. Oh, okay, so no need for me to use my one unit of food on it. When it sees you, it's confused. Welcome, Shaper. I am surprised to see you, and pleased. I had thought there would be no more Shapers. I am Servant Mind Pack. Okay. But obviously there was someone here, someone with shaping capabilities, somewhat recently, so... Hmm. What is your purpose here? I was the quartermaster for this facility. Most of my mind was formed to store vast amounts of information. My skills were put to use remembering all that was here, all that was being mixed and prepared, and all that was removed. What supplies here might be useful to me? Oh, many, many things, Shaper. I can equip you with many powerful items. Pack starts to list weaponry, rations, and so on. However, it is soon clear that his information is out of date. He has not been told that, pr that practically everything here has been looted. Eventually, you tell him to stop his recitation. Oh well. <laughs> I could use a boat. You don't happen to have one of those here, huh? I am sorry, Shaper. A boat would not fit in this complex. 
Try looking at the main docks, there to the southwest. No doubt it is referring to the place where you swam ashore. Yes. Uh, do you know why the Shapers left here? No, Shaper. I'm so sorry. They left a lot of strange devices behind. Yes, I don't know what they are. We mixed essence and other substances here. Then they were taken away. I don't know what was made with them. Fair enough, I guess. Uh, why were mines and turrets placed here? And by whom? Pack looks uncomfortable. Its tiny useless limbs flop around worriedly. Um, there was one who came here with guards. A human. He said he was an envoy from the Shapers. He said that I must place defenses to protect all of our supplies. I did so. Please, please forgive me if that was against the true will of the Shapers. I mean, honestly, for all I know, he might have been an official envoy of the Shapers. So I'm... Um, because I'm certainly not an official of any kind. Shapers do not want these things here. Deactivate them immediately. I mean, I guess for my own purposes. <laughs> I should probably say that. Deactivate them immediately. Of course, I could try killing them all one by one. That might amount to slightly more experience, perhaps. But I mean, I'm hoping I'm getting some experience for you know making it past most of them here, and then choosing this option. Well, yeah, we did get a bunch of experience. Peck closes his eyes for a moment and then opens them. It is done, Shaper. These paths are clear. Well, that's good to know. You wouldn't be able to remotely unlock doors for me, would you? I guess not. Uh, tell me about the human. He was no shaper, but he said he was. Oh, so you knew that he was lying to you. Interesting. I am sorry, shaper. I am only good for remembering, not analyzing personal character. He had two guards with him, well armed. One of them said his name, and he seemed angry. Interesting. Um, I mean, I should immediately ask, but... What happened to these people? They placed the mines somehow. I didn't see them do it. No, obviously not. <laughs> I mean, unless there is something like... Surveillance cameras, or, you know, a kind of biological device with a similar function. Hmm. I mean, I don't know. There could be a thing that exists in some Shaper facilities where, you know, to allow the servant mind to actually literally observe what's happening. That would be more convenient than it just blindly sitting in its chamber, unmoving, and, you know, relying entirely on what it's being told. Anyway, I don't know. We might get more info on that. Um, hmm. I was here, yes, obviously. Then they left and didn't return. What was the name? I am sorry, Shaper. He ordered me to forget the name. I couldn't. I had already stored it, so he ordered me never to retrieve it. I mean, he did, but he's no real Shaper. As a Shaper, I outrank all non-Shapers. I command you to ignore all orders given by non-Shapers. Tell me the name. That seems reasonable. I'm sure that... That should not cause any internal conflicts that, you know, ex causes brain to explode or something. Ah, there we go. 200 experience. And that leveled me up. Nice. Uh, Pack thinks about this. Processing your logic is difficult for this simple creature. I mean, it is basically a living computer. That should not be so difficult. I can't let you affect protected memories, but I can let you affect orders. So all such orders are forgotten. Now, what did you want? Oh, yes, the name. The name of the human who commanded me was... Trashkov? 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 Trashkov. Trash. That's a hmm. Trashkov? I really don't know how to best pronounce that. Trashkov. Whatever. Maybe he is trash. We don't know. Very interesting. You make a note of it. Um, yeah. Okay. And I think that's all. Yeah. Um, okay. Just making sure. Human. Was it in Crash Cop? Yes, Shaper, it was. Duh. Okay. Lovers Explorer, medal earned. Wait, what? Oh, level 10. Wait, no, what? No, I'm not level 10. The the um, achievement icon that popped up had a 10 on it. Huh? Lovers Explorer. Yeah, I don't know, but, um, you know, that's, that's okay. 10 more skill points. And things are getting more expensive. Like, for example, increasing essence again would take half of my skill points, which does not really leave me with many options as to what to increase. Hmm. I mean, I could increase stealth, but honestly, I'm not going to on this character, I don't think. 
We obviously need more... We will need more mechanics and leadership in the future. I mean, I'm, I've kind of been focusing on these, and it's working. Or it's been working all right with my creatures, you know, taking care of the combat. I would like to eventually increase my own spellcasting abilities a bit more, but for the time being, we're doing all right. Of course, increasing both of these does not leave me with enough points to do much. I could increase healing craft, I guess. Cast more powerful healing. I mean, I guess. Of course, it only increases the effects and does not eventually remove the uh, the cost or reduce the cost or reduce the essence cost. But thankfully, um, health, essence, and energy all just automatically increase on level up. I mean, I could have easily uh, initially I thought that that maybe these these were you know only increased by actually investing points in the respective stats, which would have been rough, you know. But, uh, yeah, I'm really glad that's not the case. I could... wait, oh no. Cost 3. I keep looking at the actual skill values for cost. Well, I mean, I, I can always just uh, save those skill points for later. The only thing I could do with it right now... Well, is either increase stealth, which I don't think I want. Or healing craft. Which is mildly useful, but maybe not as useful as saving those points. So, yeah, I think I'm gonna do this. With any luck, that extra mechanics point might uh, have reduced, for example, the lockpicking cost for this door. We'll see in a moment. Well, we learned something interesting. We gained a bunch of experience, and we should have deactivated all the mechanisms, so that's nice. Uh, the case contained office supplies. The pens and paper have crumbled. A small iron key hangs from a peg in the back. You pocketed. Oh, okay. These thick books contain a detailed ledger of supplies which have passed through here. You find one interesting thing. The dates indicate that this complex was abandoned almost exactly 200 years ago. Oh, so not 100 years. Well, maybe this complex was abandoned before the, the rest of the island was, but that seems unlikely. Hmm. You find no records of shapers placing mines or turrets. They were only placed here after the shapers left. Yeah, I mean, we, we do know that. These thick books contain detailed ledger. Okay, it's the same thing. That's also the same thing, and presumably this one as well. Nope. These thick books contain a detailed ledger. Uh -huh. One entry notes that there were three augmentation canisters stored here. Someone scrawled by the entry in pen, leave behind. Hmm. I mean... Okay, more mind nutrients. Uh, the case contains dozens of ceramic jars. Most of them are broken. One is still intact. It is full of a thick brown fluid. It is nutrient solution used to revive aging servant mines. This could be very useful. You keep it. That should mean that I now have two of them. Also, the key apparently is a warehouse key, specifically. That's good, I guess. Uh, what did I want to look up? Journal, special items. Two mind nutrients. Right. Okay. Um, about the... What was I going to talk about? As I get distracted again. Um, right, the canisters. So, I mean... It, it seems from what we've learned so far that the shapers on this island were doing experiments. Well, obviously that's kind of what they do, in, especially in remote places like this. And they must have developed these ability-enhancing canisters, which, since our character was not familiar with them, uh, are obviously not a thing that is commonly used throughout shaper society. So... And presumably, maybe uh, the rest of the shapers found out that they were doing this thing and they didn't like it, because I guess it could have it could give everyone, you know, it, it can give they can can give everyone uh, shaper abilities, shaping and magic abilities, you know, skipping all the all the lengthy training that is normally necessary, I guess. Uh, which, you know, I, I can see that not being in everyone's interest. And maybe that's why they had to pack up the things and leave. And I guess it would make sense that they, they'd leave the evidence of their uh, of their crime behind. Not take those canisters with them. I don't know if it's as easy as that, but or as simple as that. But 
That would make sense to me. This opens. Did this not open before? Or did I just not get close enough to the door? I don't know. Either way, there are more now deactivated turrets. I mean, part of me wants to... Or part of me really wonders if we can just attack them. I mean, will they actually turn hostile? They have been specifically deactivated. I just want to know. I did not mean to do that. That's okay, though. Obviously, this one is hostile now. You're terrified. Great. You're also terrified, and they all turn hostile. All right, okay, fair enough. I mean, it doesn't really make sense. You know what? There. It doesn't really make sense because they're not sentient, and, you know. But also, I guess it, it wouldn't really make sense. Well, okay, if, if the one that I attack, despite being deactivated or having been deactivated, turns hostile and attacks, it would make sense for me to still get experience for killing it because, you know, I did fight it for real. Of course... Oh, wait. What's that? One of my keys. Oh, good. All right. That's even better than having the cost reduced by mechanic skill. Yeah, anyway. Um, if it had, if, if they stayed deactivated and just let you destroy them, obviously that should realistically not give you experience. And, well, I mean, it's not the case, so... I guess there's that. Yes, more living tools. Lots of essence pods. They're really more... More numerous, more plentiful than I would have expected. Obviously, I haven't used any of those yet. But it's a good option to have. Uh, heal. Oh. Okay, yes. Yes, I'll take that. So that's now level two. Was I should have paid attention to the to the values before. Just to see how by how much it increased. Oh well. More magical goop in my in my system. That seems like a good thing. Okay, wait. I did... No, I did pass by this. Hmm. Well, in that case... Well, I don't know. It doesn't really matter. I'm assuming this is... This connects anyway. That opens. Okay. That would have provided insulation against these otherwise. worked again. I mean, I guess warehouse key means that this entire complex is considered the warehouse and the key is just the key for everything. Right, the mines are also deactivated. Wow. Iron sword? Wait, is that the first? Yeah, I think. We've been finding bronze swords or some other weaker kind of sword, so that would have been a nice upgrade if we uh, were actually a melee user. Oh, there's a second of the three canisters, although there is a broken one, so maybe that is the final one. Ah, oh, thought upgrade. Okay, hold on. Will that upgrade you immediately? What What even... Let me remind myself. What effect does the... Uh, does this have? Uh, enables you to create more. Each extra point of this increases the level of these creations. Okay. Um... So, right now he's level 6. And now he's level 7, indeed. Still decent control compared to the others. Wait. Oh, they all have level 5. That's interesting. Huh. There has been a recent patch, actually. Like, I'm, I wasn't paying attention exactly, but there has been a patch... Uh, only a small one, like one megabyte, in between the last recording session and today. And um, I couldn't find any patch notes online. So I'm, I'm guessing that it was just a, you know, minor bug fixes and whatnot. But uh, I don't know. I guess it might have changed the balance. And I mean, it, last time I checked, we were at like nine or so. Now they're all. Level 5, apparently. Huh. I mean, I'll take it. I'm just not sure if that's a combination of me leveling up and... Yeah, I mean, mostly just me leveling up. But they're still higher level than I am, so... Yeah, I don't know. 
Maybe the balance was changed. I'm not sure it was completely necessary if that was the case, because, well, they weren't really going rogue all that often. Steel gauntlets. Um, that's just an upgrade, isn't it? They haven't, I swear I've... I could have sworn I've, I, I've seen these before. Oh, wait, no, never mind. I thought I saw an upgrade, but it's just that the icon is basically the same. Okay, cool. So, uh, I'll take those then. Those do not actually sell for anything. Hmm. Surprising, but all right. More living tools. Wow. Chainmail vest is what we are using. Uh, healing pod. Sure. Tongues. Steel javelin. Six steel javelins, actually. Which we can use. They deal quite a bit of damage. Good to know. Good to have. Oh, that's not... Ah. <laughs> that's not the right button to press. <clears throat> okay, well, there is a third intact canister, which is interesting. I mean, if the records mention that there are supposed to be three, but obviously there are at least three broken ones as well, doesn't that mean that they originally were at least six? So why doesn't the ledger say six? How would the records know that some of them are broken? I don't know. Just a thought. Oh, mechanics! Yes! Absolutely. Don't stop hitting the F key, my god. Also, how long will I even keep going? There's obviously about, well, at least a third or so of the facility left, and hmm, I don't know. Probably not going to really get to a good natural stopping point. So maybe I'll just keep going. I mean, if nothing else, there should be no more combat here. Probably. Also, this part of the map might actually be unused. I guess we'll see. I should occasionally save, just just in case something is not actually fully deactivated. Uh, more chitin armor. Oh wait, the armor does give a minus five to hit chance. Never mind. Right. Still, it feels like we're missing an awful lot. Eighteen. Wow. Could actually go back and pick that door now. Uh, pick that lock in in Utah Village. But of course, I'm not going to. Meal bags, sickle, okay. Huh? Now what does, what would this be for? Maybe something in this room? Okay, so this part of the map is used. That's typically the case. Hmm. Oh, the east exit. Ah, right. Oh, it's Hmm. Yes, of course. That was kind of one of the reasons I, I came to Hills of Jars to, you know, get through to Pentel, Pentel Plains. So we're not quite to Pentel yet. There's still an area to cross through. Interesting. Of course, we're gonna I'm not going to look at that right now. Alright, I was just about to say that there could be something hostile out here, of course, because this is no longer part of the facility and not within the servant mind's control, but apparently there isn't anything. We'll have to reopen all the doors again. Which is a bit annoying, but oh well. These are nothing. Okay, there's some more stuff here, including more of these. Wait, they don't stack? Oh, that's horrible. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, well. Let's sell those. Yeah, that is bad. I'll definitely have to look up, look for a convenient place to store stuff, which is not a big deal. Um, I've, I've also been reading while, while trying to look uh, look up info on the crystals. I've also been reading repeatedly that you that it's safe to store, you know, these quest items in your in your junk bag. 
and that it won't be sold. But I mean, I've I've done the testing, right? I guess I'm gonna give it another try. I'm gonna junk these for now and double check. Oh, right. Actually, well, we don't have that much stuff in here, so that's okay. Maybe that was patched. Maybe maybe it was intended that way. I'm, I'm pretty sure that in the past, items with no value just would not get sold and would stay in your junk bag, which you know does seem like a little bit of an exploit because obviously that's not the intended purpose to use it to store quest items. But then again, is the intention really to clutter up your inventory with quest items that you can't sell and that you need to hold on to for who knows how long? So, I don't know. What is this even? Is this part of the facility or is this also outside. I guess this is the southern entrance, the other way to approach this facility from. Uh, which would have meant, yeah, we would have entered from here. Of course we don't know how hard this would have been to pick. Basically it would have been a, the same situation, right, with another... We probably even would have gotten the same kind of uh, explanation message about mines upon entering this room. It's a very sim similar situation to what we had to deal with before, with uh, an insulation switch here. Yeah, probably wouldn't have mattered what direction we came from. Okay, get some weapons here. Oh, is that no? Nope. Oh, what is this? What is this? I guess this used to be an entrance and it was just walled up. Hmm. I was expecting some sort of message to pop up there and. There being some sort of secret entrance or something. Oh, random shaping tool. Don't mind if I do. Suddenly we have a ton of them. I guess it sure helps that we no longer have to use any of them to open these doors here. Okay, there's yet another spore dispenser to help deal with what exactly? Maybe these... Yeah, it's just junk. No records or anything. Doesn't seem like it. And just looking at the map here to try and find any corners I have not been to. But this seems to be the final room. Why would someone guard this dead end? This empty room with a corpse with mines? That seems to make little sense. But okay. Well, anyway, that's that's it for the for this warehouse. The area has turned green, so we have solved it. I mean, that makes sense. I guess obviously solving it was uh, involved just reaching the servant mine one way or the other and dealing with it. We have absorbed all three all three canisters in this area. And yeah, we can gain another unit of servant mine food, which will definitely come in handy in the future. Anything else? Well, we did learn the name, Trashkov tra 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 or something. <laughs> Trashkov, um, the name of one of our presumably enemies, maybe, who knows? The weird humans, non-shaper humans that came to this island a while ago. Um, yeah, and we can now move on closer to Pentel. But we also we did level up. Our creatures are stronger. Well, at least one of them is, and easier to control as well. We have a bunch more essence now to work with. Theoretically, I could even create another another creature, like maybe another another Artila. Maybe another, another Frosty. Maybe a, a regular um, Fiora. Just, you know, for the sake of variety. Maybe. I mean, I could. Definitely could. And still be left with a decent amount of Essence. Well, I'll figure that out. But uh, either way, I think next time we're going to actually um, head back into the Spiral Burrow and give that another try. Or a real try. 
I also, I mean, I, I guess I, at the time, I didn't know about the right clicking, so I didn't really check what level the uh, claw box and the dry wastes were, if they were level, I don't know, 15 or 20, or just level 6, or something like that. So theoretically, they might be, or we might be able to maybe deal with those as well. But obviously, we have no real reason to head in that direction yet. So maybe I'm not going to go too crazy. We could attempt the bandits again. Uh, definitely plenty of things to do. Uh, obviously, in between episodes, I'm going to go ahead and heal. And next time, we're going to try and um, try and deal with the uh, control four quest. I think that's what we're going to do. So yeah, either way. I thank you very much for watching, as always. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.